Well, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the auction sale here today. Number 53, Opie Avenue, here at Hyde Park. And what an absolute beauty we have for your bidding here today. In 40 years of real estate here in South Australia, ladies and gentlemen, I've been very fortunate to sell some of Adelaide's finest homes. But this is not one of them. But it could be. It really could. It's potential. And people talk in real estate terms about the three Ps. Position, position, position. Everyone talks about that. There are multi-million dollar homes in the area and the close proximity to the city, the character of the homes in the area are one of the reasons why people love to live here. Eight minutes to the city and when the renovations have been completed along King William Road, that will become a cosmopolitan mecca, in our humble opinion, where people want to come and utilise the cafes, the restaurants, the boutique facilities that it has to offer. And we have found, ladies and gentlemen, over the past few years that suburbs such as Hyde Park and Norwood and even down to Henley Beach and so on. These are the spots that people want to live because it's walking distance to absolutely everything. And in Hyde Park, you've also, of course, got parks and reserves. Hyde Park itself, right down at the end of King William Road. And in fact, I was born in Commercial Road, Hyde Park. And I can remember, and this dates me a fraction, I can remember when the tram used to come along King William Road go straight through Hyde Park onto Whistler Avenue and the terminus was at Cross Road. And now, of course, everyone's going back to trams, but they ripped them all up in those days. I digress. We're talking here, ladies and gentlemen, about a property with magnificent potential. It really is first class and price. The other one that I mentioned earlier is very sensible and mod moderate. The reserve I've been given about the sale here today ensures it will sell under the hammer. And for the 14 of you who've registered here today, good luck with your bidding. Because if you miss out here today, we haven't got anything like this to offer you for the runners up. Buyers on behalf of Harcourt's Brock Estates, represented by Susan Brock to my right, Michael Brock as your auctioneer. We have a number of people here to help us. Georgie, Robin, uh, Stephanie behind me here. Thank you all for coming along. And buyers, good luck with your bidding. To bid at public auction under current legislation, buyers, firstly, you must register. As I said, 14 of you have done so already. It's not too late to do so. Just pop forward and speak to Georgie, who's getting one of the forms off the ground as we speak. Buyers, when you bid at public auction, you bid with your bidding number. You must hold that in the air, and I, as the auctioneer, will audibly announce that number. We also, the vendors, through the auctioneer, reserve the right to bid once or oftener up to three times under the reserve price as a vendor bid. And if I choose to do that, I will announce them as vendor bid. And that's the great thing about the auction system. Absolute transparency under new legislation. Either people are bidding with a number or as auctioneer, I'll announce it's a vendor bid. But I doubt we'll I'll need to use too many of those here today with the interest that's been shown. Now, buyers, the format for the auction sale here today, I'm going to very briefly run through the legal particulars of the offering, a few notes about conditions of sale, one or two points about the property itself before we hand over to you for your bidding. Now, we offer you allotment 50, file plan number 10797, area named Hyde Park, 100 of Adelaide, register book volume 58. 30 folio 543 in the council area in the city of Unley. Now basically you buy the property as you see it, quite clearly needing extensive renovations. But buyers, we do point out to you that if you are looking to restore the home as a number of you are, the property is at your risk from the fall of the hammer. It's up to you to take out an immediate insurance cover note. Just ring your 
agent to get that uh, note organised. We do require, on the fall of the hammer, a 10% deposit of the total purchase price and the balance in 30 days. Now, a number of you have asked for and been agreed to varying settlement dates with slightly lower deposits and varying settlement dates. Anything we've agreed with you is okay and you can bid on the terms that we've agreed to you. There is one bidder here, number 22, uh, whose form hasn't quite been correctly uh, signed off on. Bidder 22, if you wouldn't mind just speaking to Georgie on my right there and we'll organise that for you. Well, buyers onto the property itself. And as I mentioned before, location the key. It really is just absolutely brilliant. And as also, as I said earlier, having been born and raised in the area, it is absolutely a wonderful spot to live. Beautiful tree-lined streets, the character of the surrounding homes and so on. Buyers, just one thing that I will mention to you with a number of people have spoken to us about what they want to do to the property. Neither the vendor nor the agent gives any warranty or guarantee about what can or cannot be done to the property. It's a straightforward case of buyer beware. You've done your homework, you've done your due diligence. We've had people coming backwards and forwards with building inspectors, etc., and architects. But it is up to you, we make no guarantee. All we do as selling agents here today on behalf of our vendors is offer the property to you as it stands. It's up to you to have done your own homework, which I know a number of you have done, but there is a clause in the contract attesting to that. So buyers, here we have it. A property that stood the test of time just. It's quite interesting. The gentleman here, an absolute character we understand. It is, of course, to finalise a deceased estate, but he apparently flew planes during the war and was a hero and a very proud man indeed. He was here a long, long time. In fact, he was here in the 1970s. And I know that because someone who lived directly across the road in the 70s told me that young kids, when they got bored, they had a lemon tree out the back and they used to climb up on the roof and throw lemons at the birds on these wires. And one day they missed and it smacked into the front window here and cracked it. Didn't smash it, cracked it. And that crack is still here, buyers, <laughs> from 1978. So it's been a while since it's been upgraded. <laughs> but that's up to you. And what a rare opportunity it is. Ladies and gentlemen, six main rooms, obviously. Stone at the front under the paint. Corner allotment, which is always an added bonus so that you can park your cars at the rear. Ladies and gentlemen, Opie Avenue, a wonderful street indeed. And that's why money's being spent on the properties here. There's development at the end of the road. And there are some wonderful neighbours here, one of them not far behind me. Terrific bloke, lovely, and I'm sure he'll have you for a housewarming. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I intend to say about it. Corner block, 434 square metres of prime land in the heart of Hyde Park. Have you any final questions you wish to put to us before we call for your bidding? Okay, well, good luck. Like hen's teeth. Ladies and gentlemen, Number 53, Opie Avenue, here at Hyde Park. I'm in your hands entirely for a bid and offer on the property, please. What shall we say for it, how much? Sorry, sir? 500. A realistically conservative start, sir, but bit of 15. I'm going to go with you. My footy team doesn't play till 2.30. I think we've got plenty of time. Take a $50,000 rise from there. 500 a bid, $500,000, looking for 550 now. $500,000, 550 at the back of the road, thank you, 550. Bid a number, sir, please, 26. Good number. Susan's lucky number, isn't it? Yep. Good on you. 26 black at the casino. 
That's why you're wearing black, is it, darling? 550, 600, sir? 600, he says, better 15, 650. 650, he says, 26, 700. No, no, 700 is the next bid, sir. I helped you out early. <laughs> 650 in the back now, looking for 700. Thought we would have started around that. 650 is the bid then. Are you done? Finished. Silent. At $650,000. Bids here, ladies and gentlemen. Are you done? Finished. Silent. At 650000 Watch out for that umbrella, young fella. Hopefully we won't need it. 650 is the bid. Looking for 700. Done. Finished. Silent. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's get things moving along here. We'll jump in. We'll use the vendor bid at 700. And then we'll simply take $10,000 rises from there. But don't hold back. Our instructions are to sell the property. We're right down to $10,000 rises from here. 700's the bid. 700 looking for 710. Seven's the bid. Any further advance buyers on $700,000? Done. Finished. So, 710, bidder number two. 710. 710 at the front. 720, bidder 26. 720. 720. You can't bid once and stop, sir. It's not in my rules. Thank you. I love a man that does what he's told. Just like me, darling, with yeah. you, isn't it? Yeah. Eh? Spare me. <laughs> Someone got a bucket? Yeah. Yeah. 7.30. 7.30 bidder two. 7.30. 7.40, sir. You're a good judge of character, of homes. 7.40, he says. 7.40. 7.40, bidder number 26, 740. And I'll tell you why bidder number 26 is a great judge of character. I was born, ladies and gentlemen, as I said before, in Commercial Road, Hyde Park. And the gentleman that's just bid lives and owns the home I was born in. Isn't that incredible? That's how much he loves Unley Park, uh, Hyde Park. I've moved on. I don't know why. This has got so much going for it. What a beautiful spot indeed. And 740, the gentleman wants to stay in the area. 740 is the bid. Done. Right, I sir, we'll go with you. Thank you. Better 22. Uh, number tw 22 needs to come over. Did you come and check, sir, about your settlement date? Yep. Uh, we did ask two or three times a bit of 22. 60 days is, the, is, is fine, sir, and a 5% deposit. You happy with that? Okay, he's agreed to it. We'll sign that, darling, at the time. You don't need to sign it, darling. Bit of 22 now is in at 7.45, and I'll do the same for you, sir. 7.50? Yep. 7.45, then to the left-hand side. Are you done? Finished. Silent. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there are three calls and three calls only, so don't hold back with your bidding. My instructions are to refer the highest bid. We will be doing that in a second or so to seek final instructions on the property, but currently it's the gentleman's bid at the rear, bidder 22 at $745,000. Are you done? Finished. Silent. 50. And I've taken the bid from the front. 750 I called first. Okay, and, that and that was bidder number 26. 755 if you want it. Thank you. Seven. Where have you been for the last 20 minutes, sir? <laughs> uh, you're letting me have a bit of a waddle here. Okay, 755. 755 at bid of 15. 755. 755. 755 taking your fives. Hey, it done. Finished. Silent. 60. 760. Bit of 26. 760. 760. 65, sir. Quickly then. 760.
I'm very happy to take that, sir. Thank you, better 22. 762 and a half. 765 is next. 762 and a half. 765. Better 15. 765. 765. Bids out to the left. 767 and a half. Back better 26. 767 and a half. 767 and a half. 770, sir. Yes or no? You said that before 20 minutes ago, sir, and you, come, and you came back to me. 767 and a half, bidder 26, bids out here with you, sir. At 767 and a half, 68 will go with you and I'll take ones from there. But, sir, I won't be going below ones, okay? 768, number 22. 768. 768. 768,001, sir. 769. 770. 770. 26, then 22. 770 now. At $770,000, bids out here with you. At 770. Well, buyers, I'm just about to make the customary three calls. And as we said all the way through, our instructions here were to sell the property under the hammer this morning and that is precisely what will be occurring. There will be a sold sticker across the Harcourt's Brock Estate signboard in the next few moments. And as I said earlier, buyers, please, for the 13 of the 14 of you who aren't the highest bidder at the moment, I wish we had something else to offer you with this much potential, but we don't. And I haven't seen anything like this for decades. It's an absolute unique property. 770 is the bid with 22. Done. And one. Well, I got it just in here. And seven, 771 was the first bid. I took it from you, sir, at bid of 26, 771. Is there another bid over here? Yeah, Thank you. 772? Yeah. 772, bid of number 12. Welcome to the bidding. It's your bid, madam. You've bid once. I won't take it from you again. 775. Thank you, madam. I love that. 775. Bid's here. 778. Who needs an auctioneer? Just yell at each other. Is that 22? Yes, yes. 778. Madam? 780. 780. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't like to play cards against you, sir. You're all out one minute and back in the next. 780 from bidder, 15. 780. 780. What about we take $2,000 rises from here? I know whatever I suggest, bit of 22 will offer something different. <laughs> 780, sorry? 788. Excellent, sir. Bit of 22. 788. My lucky number, 88. In fact, you can see my card just over there. It's got 88 registration number on it. Very lucky for Chinese and also for anyone. No, it is. We use it all, don't we, darling? Yeah, always. Bidder 22 is offered 788. Is there 790? Yes, 26. Thank you. Bidder 26 back in, sir. 790. 790. $790,000 now. 22 back in, sir. You're like a pogo stick. Up and down, all over the place. But we're happy to go with you, sir. Our job solely is obviously to look after our vendors, in this case the executors. And that's what we're doing here this morning, ladies and gentlemen. Working hard to achieve the ultimate result for our vendors, which all good agents should do. 791. Bidder 22. At 791's the bid. 
2, 792, better 26, 792 is the bed. In or out, sir? 792, once. Now, I won't go below a thousand, sir. We'll stick to that if you don't mind. 792 is the bed. Taking a thousand in time. Every time I look at you, say no, sir. If I look away, you'll say yes. <laughs> See if you can surprise me again. You want, is that another one? You, no? Okay. Better 26 is holding the keys at the moment. Not that there's a lot to protect. <laughs> 792 is the bed. Done. Finished. All right, we will. I'll break the rules for you, sir, as I have all morning. <laughs> Bit of 22, 7, 9, 722 and a half, 792 and a half, 792 and a half. You've got two. You've got 722. 792 and a half. Do the same. 793, 794, 795. Hang on, just, just, just consecutive numbers. 795. <laughs> 795. 798, 798, bit of 22, 798, 800, I see as soon as I turn my back, he does it every time, 800 thousand dollars, here's the bid, bit of 15, 800's the bid, 808, so I just want to get your uh, address and phone number. I want you to come to all my auctions in future, <laughs> sir. You have a permanent spot reserved. 808, there we go. To the, to both the eights. 808's the bid. 22. 808. 808. 808. Well, I know you won't bid because I'm looking at you. <laughs> 808's the bid. 809. He's back in. 809. Better 26. 809. Pardon? 809 is the bid. All done. Finished. Silent. Done. Once at 809. Second call, ladies and gentlemen. At $809,000, it's the gentleman's bid to the front. Take a thousand quickly. Good timing with that sneeze, mm. darling. It's Sorry. beautifully done. Excuse me. 809's the bid, ladies and gentlemen. The last, final opportunity of acquiring 53 Oakby Avenue here at pa Hyde Park once, twice. Yep. See? And what's your bid, sir? Yes, what? Oh. What are you going to bid, sir? 809 is the bid now. 10. There we go, 810. I'm just going to permanently stand like this, yeah. Susan, and I just want you to... Keep your eye on that man, Steve. Yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. Well, he won't bid now because it's already his bid. <laughs> 810. 810 is the bid. And ladies and gentlemen, if you've come along here today with a set limit in your mind to purchase this property, forget it. Just keep going. Because all you're doing is paying $1,000 more than the next person. Isn't that logical? So you're not over paying for anything. And whatever this sells for today will set the benchmark for future sales. So I always say to people, if you like it, if it's got the three P's, position, price and potential, just make so sure you secure it. Could be years before something like this comes up again. Currently it's bit of 15 behind me at 810. Take another thousand. Sure, sir, you've been a good bidder all the way. 810's the bid with bid of 15 behind me. First call. Second call buyers. 
at $810,000. Last chance, third, final call. Bid behind with bidder number 15 at 810, third, last and final call, done. Finished, bid, offered and sold to you sir, congratulations indeed. Well purchased, commiserations to the runners up and thank you very much indeed for your bidding and your attendance here today, drive safely.